going over Team Center reports with a short overview. I'll explain to you why reports are useful, how you can create a report, and how you can generate reports along with a quick demonstration. So, what are reports in Team Center? Team Center reports are used to generate information based on a definition and an associated XSL style sheet. The definition defines the source and properties which you want to grab data from, while the style sheet is used to control the way the data is formatted in the report. So how are reports useful? Reports are a great way to find information that can't be easily searched for in Team Center. There are many reasons you might want to generate a report, such as retrieving a list of all items currently in a workflow process, you could generate a list of users in the organization, include properties with their usernames, IDs, emails, and any other useful information that you might need. Another great thing about reports is that you can choose to save them as a data set in Team Center or as an Excel file that you can easily send in an email. Um, for instance, if your boss asked you for a list of all of the parts which are currently released for production, you could very easily generate a report with all of this information, including names and IDs in the format of an Excel sheet, which is very easy to distribute and send. Um, and you, or you might be an administrator needing to make updates to your team center environment, and you maybe need to check and see if there's any users currently using the system, which you can also do through reports, which is pretty cool. So Report Builder is the built-in tool that Team Center has for creating and managing reports. There are three main kinds of reports in Team Center. The first and most used kind of report is a summary report, which is used to summarize similar information such as items belonging to a user or objects with particular release statuses. Um, item reports are run on a single item to extract information such as workflow sign-offs or bomb lists. Uh, lastly, custom reports are reports that you can customize through the use of code or external programs to address special cases um, in my demonstration, I will be showing how to create and generate a summary report since it is the most commonly used kind. So how to create a report. You first need to open Report Builder in Team Center. In order to do this, um, you actually don't need to have administrative privileges, which I once thought before, and I think that's kind of cool. So any user can log in and create a report. Uh, once you're on the page, you can create a report using predefined style sheets, or you can also import your own if you wish to further customize a report. Um, I would suggest copying one of Team Center's out of the box style sheets and editing it to work with your needs if that's something you're interested in. Um, here, you can also select a query to base your report on, which is great if you already have custom queries in your organization. If not, there are plenty of predefined queries to choose from. Um, and under the list of style sheets, you might also notice there are some that mention HTML or Excel, which determines the format of your generated report. So Excel style sheets will result in an Excel, Excel file being generated, while the HTML style sheets will result in an HTML file that will open automatically in your default browser. In order to generate a, a report from the rich client, you will want to be in the My Team Center page, which is the default help page when you log into Team Center. From there, you can go to Tools, Reports, and click on Report Builder Reports, which opens a wizard, and you can select um, any kind of report you would like to generate. And then on the next page, you fill in the required information you need to generate the report, which I will show you in just a minute here. And here are a couple more screenshots showing going through the different pages there. And that's a screenshot of the HTML report that I had generated. 
and then generating reports in active workspace it's slightly different from the rich client as you might imagine so from your uh, home page you can click on the tile for reports and you can view some default reports that show up on this my dashboard tab and to generate the ones from report builder there's a separate tab for templates where you can find anything any of the out of the box templates from team center as well as anything you've created yourself so here are some screenshots kind of showing that you see the reports tile and then the my dashboard screen along with um, where to go for templates and this is showing how you would see that to generate a report in active workspace and i'll go ahead and show you that in a second here and that's how it looks when you um, generate an html report within active workspace pretty cool all right so i will go ahead and switch over to my vm and show you guys a quick demonstration let me go over here so here i am already logged into the rich client i am logged in right now as info dba but like i mentioned earlier you don't actually need to have um, dba privileges in order to get there for report builder so to get there we click on window open perspective and probably won't see it here but you click on other and then scroll on down to the port builder and we'll click open open perspective and here you see all of the out of the box reports that come with team center and you can see too i've already there's an old test report that i did earlier and you can see all of the information that goes with each of them if you click on any of these you can look at the report data and we'll show you over here you can edit it um, so to create a new one we'll go ahead to file create report and here you get the choice of a summary item or custom report for the demonstration i will be doing a summary report we'll click on next and then um, there's only two required fields here which is report id and then your query source for here for the id i'll just go ahead and click assign and they'll give it something automatically for name let's call it let's see ces test report and then down here we'll go ahead and click a query source so make things easy i will choose this predefined admin group role membership which will give us a list of all of the users in a particular group and role and you can also select closure rules and property sets which will further define your um, generated report um, we don't really need to mess with those for this demonstration you can just keep them very simple they're not required but uh, i know the property sets you can kind of use to further specify what properties are being shown, which is nice if you if you wanted to create a custom property set. I know you can do that with the um, import export tools of Team Center for style sheets and whatnot. But for this, we'll keep it simple and leave those blank. And I'll go ahead and click next. And so here are all of the style sheets we have to choose from. And like I mentioned earlier, if you notice, there's like an underscore Excel at the end or underscore HTML on a lot of these. So that determines. So if I click on this guy for admin group role Excel, if I generate that report, we will get an Excel file generated. Whereas if we add the HTML one, you'll get the web page. You can add multiple here so that when you go to actually generate the report you have a selection to choose which one you would like um, so we'll keep those for now i think this will be good for our test run and i'll click finish i'm done and click close and then if i scroll down actually there it is right there my ces test report and 
here you go. Now you can see all this information here. So if later on you decide, hey, I'm interested in adding a property set, you can always add that in after the fact. You can change what style sheets you want by adding, you know, highlighting things, clicking plus or minus on either side to, um, to change those. So we'll keep this as is. And now that we've created a report, we'll go back home to generate one. Now that I'm on the home, my team center page, you will go to tools and then all the way down to reports and report builder reports. And then here we see that same list of all of those different reports we've got to choose from. And we should see down here my CES test report. So I can go ahead and highlight that guy, click next. And then here I have the option to add in criteria for the query. So we'll go ahead and why don't we we'll pick the engineering group. And then you can specify a role here, but you can also leave it blank and it'll just give you everybody who's in that group along with their different roles. And then down here, you can pick um, whether you would like to generate an Excel file or HTML for this. Let's go ahead and try the Excel one. I can show you that. And then also, if you go down here, you can click, um, you can check mark the create data set and then it will save the file in your new stuff folder automatically, which is cool if you if you wanted to keep something in Team Center. Otherwise, if you um, if you do the Excel file, that's easy to save and then you can send that wherever you want. Um, so I'll go ahead and hit finish, which will automatically generate the Excel sheet. Get a couple pop ups here. It's fine. All right. And here we go. So now you can see we have generated this report. And now you can see all of my users that have uh, are in the engineering group and we've got all their different role names, user IDs. For some reason, I don't have any usernames for them, but um, pretty cool. And then it can be, you know, I can easily save this and send it to someone if I you know, wanted to send this information out there. And uh, so why don't I go ahead now, you've seen how you can generate a report through the rich client. I'll open up Active Workspace and show you how it works there. So here we are, I've got Active Workspace pulled up. I'm gonna go ahead and log in with my, with my test users, sign in. All right, and then here we are on the home page. Go ahead and click on the reports tile. And then here on the my dashboard screen, there's a few kind of automatic default reports that they give you here. It shows you some information about the objects you own, different workflows. I've, as you can see, used this test user for a lot of workflow tests. So there's a lot of information here about that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on templates, which will take us to the page that has, um, like in the rich client, all of those different templates to go off of for reports. And I should be able to find the one that we just created down here, CES test report. Great. And then on the right hand side, go ahead and click new. And then there we go, <laughs> new generate report. And then from here, it's just like how it was in the rich client where you pick a group and role. Uh, let's go ahead, pick a different and, uh, just realized my laptop's dying. I'm gonna really quick plug it in. <laughs> All right. And then here we got manufacturing. And then I'll leave the role blank again. I'm not sure which roles I have there. And we'll go ahead and let's pick 
the HTML style sheet for this one. And we'll click generate. And then there you see how it shows up just here in the active workspace window. It doesn't open any like new browser or tab. So that's nice. You can see it all in here. Got all the users in their groups and roles. It's pretty cool. And that I think concludes my demonstration of the reports in Team Center. And see, I'll bring back here. All right. So notable takeaways from this presentation. Um, I hope you have a basic understanding now of Team Center reports. And hopefully you now understand how to create reports in the rich client using Report Builder, as well as gen generating reports in both the rich client and in Active Workspace. Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com events.